Hi lovelies, I bought another BoxyCharm solely so I could try out this Ace Beauty brand that's all over Instagram, but before we get into this video, I have a seriously important announcement, very important. If you guys got this Bodyography Pro makeup brush cleaner, you have got to stop everything and listen to me right now. There is an ingredient in here called methyl isothiazolinone. This is actually a very severe allergen. Up to 10% of the population has an allergy to this. It causes severe rashes. And the problem is this product doesn't tell you that this is a wash off formula. It says you can wash your brushes and then just use them. Please don't do that. At the very least, if you're going to use this product, at the very least, please wash your brushes afterwards because there are serious, serious side effects to using it, especially in that way. And if you do have an allergen to it, you could end up with some seriously puffy eyes if you start using this on your eye brushes, etc. So seriously, share this. Seriously, I don't think a lot of people know about this. And we do still see it in a lot of cosmetic products, but usually wash off products. So be aware, tell your friends to be careful with this particular product. Not blaming BoxyCharm anybody, just saying be aware. All right, let's have fun with the rest of this video. I don't do a lot of boxy trim unboxings because I don't get the box often, but I got this one again because I really wanted this Ace Beauty palette. I Everybody's talking about this brand. Thought I'd try it for $21 and boy did I score because I got Cover FX glitter drops. Are you kidding me? These are $42 and this is, I guess, a brand new shade called Nova. <laughs> Needless to say, I'm pretty darn excited about this. And then I got some Luxie brushes. Apparently the theme is Gold Digger. <coughs> Kimberly Clark, you have got to come back to YouTube. We need you. The beauty community is flooded with puns. But we're really here to try this palette, so let's do this. Oh, BoxyCharm sends boxes now? That's new. I was hoping there would be a mirror in this, but I guess I'll pull out my other mirror. This is really pretty. Look at that problem solving. Oh, my mirror is disgusting. <laughs> oh, and we got brushes to try with it. Okay, so this is a Luxie brush set. Unpopular opinion time. I've had a lot of Luxie brushes fall apart on me. I don't know if it's because I've only ever had them through Ipsy and BoxyCharm, but they fall apart on me. I, I, I feel very alone in this because I've never heard another person say, yeah, they fall apart for me. But these are, these are actually really cute though. They're quite tiny. That'll be great for detail work and they're pretty. These have no smell to them. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with this patchouli shade right here. Uh, let's start with Clove. I don't think any of those brushes are gonna work, so I'll grab my Ulta Blending Shadow, and Clove is a pretty, kind of like a peachy color. She take my money. No! Uh-oh, we're experiencing fallout. Oh no! I'm gonna try using that deep red shade. Maybe one of these blending brushes, let's see. Mini angled, mini tapered. We'll use the tapered, wait. Yeah, we'll use the tapered. And that's the shade Poppy. Uh, I'm just gonna grab some of the dark brown cinnamon shade for the outer corner. I'm over here trying to decide what I wanna do with this cause there's this really pretty shimmery red shade in here but like it's really red, so I don't know if I want to commit to doing completely red eyes. Oh, I don't know, let's do it. What about if we put some color right into the middle of the lid? I really like that look. I need a different brush though. This one. I use my inner corner brush just to add a little bit of this super light color which we will blend out. Uh, we'll do some inner corner with that same shade. This shade is so soft that it keeps kind of breaking. Oh my gosh. Okay, I think I get the hype. If you really like a soft shadow, you're gonna love this. But I mean, that's, that's almost, this is so soft. 
All right, so I know I just did the thing that everybody hates where you finish your makeup off camera, uh, but I'm not finished. I just went ahead and added a little bit of liner actually from a BoxyCharm that I had quite a few months ago and mascara and <clears throat> what else? Oh, I did under my eyes and foundation. Okay, a lot. Uh, but anyway, I want to play with this. I can't wait. I'm so excited. I love these. Uh, I don't have any powder on yet except for under my eyes, so I think we'll be able to still play with this. What I'm going to do... This stuff is super potent, so we're going to drop some on this Sigma stippling brush. Almost forgot what it's called. What's in my hair? What the heck? Why am I always such a mess on camera, y'all? Oh, look at that! I have leftover blush in this. <laughs> I admit to you guys that I'm rushing this video because I feel like the intro, what I said originally, was very important. Uh, but I still want to play with it. Take out a little bit of that blush. Because we didn't mean to do that. 18 years. 18 years. Does anybody else get music stuck in your head this easily? Like, you don't need to hear it, you just need to have it referenced. Do I look more put together yet? I don't know. Okay, I'm sprayed. I added a little bronzer because the gold was just begging for it. Let's stamp. All right, so I'm thinking for the lips, I want to do Wet n Wild's Nudist Peach because see how that peach is in the crease? I'm liking it. I want to balance it out with this. At least Wet n Wild liquid cat suits are so good. We can't stop here. I want to play more with the glitter. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know I'm going overboard. I know it. Let's go ahead and recap, yeah? This Ace Beauty palette is actually really quite nice, I gotta admit. The only, the only gripe I have with it is that this color scheme is kind of, you know, it's been done before. It's all been done. Ooh, I've had entirely too much Mountain Dew today. Y'all saw my warning about this. Tweezers, that's nice. Um, my favorite item in the box. <clears throat> But of course it is. Of course it's the Cover FX Glitter Drops because I love this brand. I love glitter. I, I love this. And then the brushes. The brushes were fine. It's nice to actually have some detail brushes. They seem, they seem okay. Okay, let me know in the comments below what... Why? Why every time? Why? Let me know in the comments below what you guys got in your BoxyCharm. If you like this kind of video, because I know a lot of people do them. I know they do. So just let me know. Uh, and make sure to enter my giveaway. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out, YouTube.